Hey guys, welcome back to our place for another grocery haul video. Before we jump into having a look at what we have picked up this week for the upcoming month, I do need to apologize for the clickbaitiness of today's video title. Here's the thing. We really like Alice Springs. I think it's a fantastic place, but over the last six months, um, it does seem to be, particularly on Facebook, I'm noticing a lot of negativity towards this little town. Now, there has been some things that have happened in the past. I'm not here to debate any of this, but what I am here to say is we have spent over a week here in Alice. We think it's fantastic. We've loved our experience here and we've loved the people here. We've had a really great time and at no time have we ever felt concerned about being out and about, seeing the sights, talking to people and doing simple things like doing your grocery shopping. So today's video is a little bit, you know, I, I just want to say to the people who are concerned about stopping in Alice to refuel, to go grocery shopping, uh, I want to reassure you that our experiences that we have had over the last week here have been absolutely fantastic. This is a little town that has been hit hard by COVID. It relies on tourism. And when the Facebook rumor mill really gets out of control, it hurts places like this. So if you are thinking about coming to Alice, our experience, and I will just caveat by saying that this is our experience, has been absolutely wonderful. Yes, be sensible, treat the place like you would any other major city, because that's what it is. But you know what? I could tell you some horror stories about Sydney. I could tell you some wild stories about Melbourne, but we seem to be hyper-focusing on Alice Springs as travellers at the moment. And I know people who have intentionally not stopped here, even though they needed to get fuel and groceries. And I think that is unfair to the town and perhaps a little bit way over cautious. So with all of that said, let's jump in and have a look at what we've picked up from Coles and Woolies. Here's the plan. We are about to head out to the East McDonald Ranges. We're actually going to spend a couple of weeks doing East Max, um, Kings Canyon. We're going to pop down into Palm Valley. If you haven't heard of any of these places, go and have a look. These are magnificent places in the outback and we are super stoked to be able to go and spend some quality time out there. We are going to go down to Yalara, Uluru, Katajuda. And we will be down there for over a week. And then we're going to come back up to Alice. We've still got some more stops to do. But looking at the calendar, it is going to be a full month before we get back into Alice and restock, getting ready for our trip up to Darwin. So we've done as best of a shop that we could to restock to hopefully get us through that month. But it does ca carry over to budgeting months for us. So we budget monthly. I have an allocation of $700 to spend on groceries each month, but I'm sort of need to sort of work a little bit into next month's as well, trying as best to stick with the budget that I have for this month. So it's not as big as the mega shop that you saw last time when we were in Port Augusta, but it's a decent shop and we're definitely going to fill up the caravan before we head off. There are supermarkets at Hermansburg and there is a big IGA in at Yalara. That's the little town near Uluru. So we can stock up on anything else that we need, fresh fruit and veg and all of that sort of stuff, particularly down at Yalara. And uh, we should be able to make it back to Alice Springs with everything that we've picked up. So that's a long intro. Let me turn this around and show you what we picked up from Coles yesterday, Woolies today. We've got to pack all of this away because tomorrow we are off to the West McDonald Ranges. All right, this is today's shop from Coles. It is just topping up the things that we have on hand, but we do need to get the shops that I'm going to do today and tomorrow to make sure that our stockpile is enough to get us through basically a month. So... We're going to be spending a little bit of time around the 
West McDonald ranges down to Uluru. There is a supermarket in Nigeria at Uluru, so we can grab some more fresh stuff, but we won't be back in Alice to do a Coles or a Woolies shop for a good four weeks. So this is what we've grabbed today to help restock. I will put the prices back up on the screen for you guys, uh, just in case I remember any of them slightly incorrectly. The prices that you see on the screen are correct and I have checked them against my receipt. So um, restocking the tinned fruit these are just really good to have on hand for when the fresh stuff runs out and before we get to a, a supermarket again and also you know sometimes it's just nice to to use it in different ways like i'll chuck it through oats and i quite like it so you know um i've grabbed three of the peach slices they are three dollars twenty at coles and just one of the pear slices this one's up to four dollars now uh, and i have opted to get all the ones in juice as opposed to the ones in syrup i've also picked up another six of the coles black beans because these ones are still 80 cents whereas they're a dollar um, at woolies um, and i think still at aldi they're a dollar so my reckoning is if you buy one you save 20 cents on each one you basically you know you get one for free so it's a bit of a buy one get one free kind of deal so i've got six of those restocking the pantry i still do have some black beans and some legumes and stuff that we bought from last time but i saw these ones are still 80 cents and before we see the price hike with these guys go up to a dollar you know i'm gonna get some in the bank so i've bought another six one kilo of brown onions these were three dollars at coles today bananas were not a bad price they were three dollars fifty so we've grabbed another hand of bananas avocados have come down in price and uh, these guys are back down to a dollar eighty so that's pretty good so we've grabbed three avocados uh, they will need to spend a little bit of time with the bananas ripening but they'll be nice in a couple of days i think uh, also good price were sweet potatoes again they're two dollars a kilo and this is just over two kilos i've got three fairly big sweet potatoes so that's a pretty good price and i usually try to pick them up when they're around the two dollar a kilo mark because i think that's pretty good um we've got some little mandarines here these are the imperial ones uh they were two dollars fifty a kilo and there's about 700 grams there so a couple of mandarines some white grapes also three dollars fifty a kilo so we'll um, have some more grapes um, and again these are going to last like two days before they're all gone so they probably won't even see us out of Alice also in the fresh stuff I've grabbed uh, some more kale uh, four dollars ninety just standard price at Coles and Woolies uh, but it's a reasonably decent sized bunch cucumbers two dollars at Coles today so I've grabbed one of those I still have one in the fridge um, from the shop that I did last week but um, I'll probably stock up maybe get another one tomorrow at Woolies depending on the price that they are there um, and the amount of room that I have in the fridge because this is all dependent on how much of the fresh stuff I can actually get in my fridge so I know you can store a lot of these other things you can freeze things but I do have to balance what I'm doing between fresh frozen and stuff that's going to stay in the pantry because we are in a caravan and I am on limited space even though I do have a ridiculously big fridge red caps eight dollars ninety a kilo it's not great but it's not the worst that i've ever seen we'll stock up on some of the nature's kitchen stuff so um these are the cheese slices that charlotte really likes shannon and i have managed to cut back on most of the processed um plant-based foods so we're doing pretty well in that respect um charlotte really likes this and she'll just chuck these in sandwiches and wraps and i don't mind her having 
um, a few extra things that she can have to change things up and she really likes that one so nature's kitchen cheese slices i think they're six dollars now but i will put that one up on the screen another block of tofu this is the big 450 gram one it's three bucks um and it's got a fairly decent date on it this will last over a month so that one will go in the fridge and uh, can just stay there and white cup mushrooms uh, were sort of on special today. Wasn't a great buy. Um, $6.50, but down a little bit, maybe like 50 cents. I don't know. Mushroom seems to have gone up quite a bit in price of late. So when I'm seeing the big 500 gram container for around the $6 mark, it's, it's probably the best that I can get mushrooms at the moment. So I'll grab the larger container. All right, stocking up for the pantry. I have got the brown basmati rice that I really like. It seems to be up to $4 a kilo now. So I grabbed one of those. I still have one in the pantry. But I did grab a two kilo bag of just plain white rice because this one is still $1.40 a kilo. So it is a lot cheaper. Um, you know, you do the best when you can. And then sometimes this comes in a good second I'd still rather have this than a lot of other things I'm not worried about um, the white rice being too over processed or anything like that um, it's still better than a lot of other things you could eat I think in my opinion that's just my personal opinion but anyways maple syrup six dollars sixty the big thing of lemon juice uh, off the top of my head I actually can't remember so I'll put this price on the screen it's not too much it's like two dollars or something the sweet potato gnocchi that we grabbed last month from Coles we actually really liked and just tastes like normal gnocchi. So um, they were on special again for $2.90. So we've grabbed another two of those. And again, that's another thing that will just last in the pantry. Really good. Lobros were on special this week for $5. So we did grab two of those. That's sort of our naughty little treat uh, drink. We don't drink uh, cordial or soft drink or stuff like that, but you know, a little bit of kombucha. Yep, that's where it's at. The mixed berries were a three for deal, three for $14. So I actually did get three of those. I've grabbed um, two mixed berries and a blueberries. Sorry, I should say the frozen berries were a four, uh, three for $14 deal today. So yeah, uh, I've got two mixed berries and one blueberry. I uh, like to put that in with our overnight oats um, and cooked oats and in things like um, chucking some pancakes and all sorts of bits and pieces. I also grabbed some hash browns because I don't know, walked past a cafe the other day and I could smell them cooking and just had a hankering for hash browns for a while now. So I got some. Uh, and starting to restock on all the frozen veggies. So this is the thing we do go through the most of and um there'll be more from woolies as well so broccoli florets i think i've got two of those i've got a mixed cauliflower and broccoli can't get the uh, winter mixed veg anywhere at the moment which is a bit sad but i have got carrots peas and cauliflower which is sort of similar i've got two of those and i just grabbed a green mixed veggies which has got broccoli peas corn no not corn beans oh. um yeah anyways uh we'll start with that and we'll get some more from woolies tomorrow as well in the snacks department because let's be honest snacks happen uh we've got the garlic crackers there $1.95 each plain old water crackers they're only like 95 cents each and I have picked up one of each of these this one here is Charlotte's personal favorite one the sweet carrot she absolutely likes it and it's actually a little bit tricky to get so when we see it I do buy her a packet uh, they were not on special they were $2.95 today at Coles but um, I have grabbed one of the sweet carrot and then just one of the plain brown rice in the peckish crackers. They are very nice. Uh, and we'll just have those with some hummus um, and some veggie sticks and that'll be a bit of a snack. I have grabbed some more of the banoffee oat slices. We do still have some of the muesli bars left. Um, 
but so that's just a another snack that we can throw in the car some mint um, and some chewing gum some chocolate chip cookies and this is for Charlotte she's got some chalky snakes so that is today's shop from Coles uh, it's not too bad all in all now I just need to work out where this is all gonna go so I can get the next lot in tomorrow and here is our little Woolies haul actually I haven't had to top up on too much stuff this month we are halfway through the month already but I am trying to get um, the stuff that we always get from Woolies and Coles uh, packed away squared away because like I said we won't be back to Alice for a month so I do have three big bags of quick oats these are the 1.5 kilo bags they're like $2.60 each so I've got three of those which we will pack away um, and again like I said before there is a supermarket at Yulara so we'll do a top up there the odd bunch a four kilo bag of potatoes six dollars fifty regular price it is the cheapest way to buy potatoes um, and that's the way that I prefer to buy them so we've got another one of those big bags there I've also grabbed some tomatoes tomatoes at the moment not a super great price eight dollars fifty for this kilo bag but um, sort of it is what it is sometimes with some of these things I have picked up the good old crunchy combo and some alfalfa just to have something different um, they're two dollars forty or something each I will put the prices up on the screen cucumber again it's an odd bunch one this was two dollars today at Woolies the zucchinis hurt a little bit <gasps> it's only 750 grams and it's up to four dollars ninety they are going out of season so you know it's going to start happening that might be the last zucchinis that we buy for a while so better make it worth it big head of kale um, and is as is always the way I did not check and compare prices so I bought a head of kale yesterday at Coles and spent $4.90 and they're on sale for $3.90 at Woolies so I could have saved myself two bucks um, but anyways, I got another head here. So I do have two heads of kale. One was slightly cheaper than the other. Uh, before I move on to the rest of the produce, produce, I do have a loaf of sourdough, sour bread, sourdough bread. What am I trying to say? Um, we don't get this very often, but I really like it. It is six dollars fifty. Um, bit of a splurge item, but it is so good. So. Let me know in the comments if you guys like sourdough. I really need to learn to make it myself, but I just feel like oh, it's probably a little bit hard in a caravan. Helgers. I ended up getting the Helgers wraps because um, struggling to find the cheap, you know, $2 wraps from Coles and Woolies. So these were on sale for $4 for a big pack. Now, we've got a couple of different varieties. Some have seven and some have eight. So this is a sweet potato. We've also grabbed a sourdough and then we've grabbed two of just the traditional whole meal and they are eight wraps in a pack. So I've got four packets of wraps there. We tend to do a lot of wraps. We'll do these for lunches because they're quick and easy. We can take them out. Um, they don't take up a lot of room and I can store them under the bed. No dramas. Bread is expensive in the outback. It's hard to store, um, you know, so that's sort of how we roll um, and I don't think we'll be doing a lot of wraps either depending, depending on how expensive we can find them at Yulara. Moving back down into the fresh produce we've grabbed some more apples. These ones are pink ladies. They were four dollars a kilo and down in here somewhere uh, we've also grabbed a bunch of the odd bunch apples. Who knows what they are it's a bit of a lucky dip um, and they're two dollars eighty or two dollars ninety. Carrots are on sale this week for a dollar, which is very exciting. So I've grabbed a kilo of them and stocking up on a little bit of pasta. Really enjoyed this one. This was new to us last month and we really liked it. So it's just the organic whole meal from Woolies. It is part of their macro brand. 
um, we really liked it, so we're going to do it again. So I've grabbed a spaghetti and two of the penne. Unfortunately, they were out of spirals, so I guess we're doing penne. Chai tea. These are half price at Woolies this week, so I did pick up two because it's basically buy one, get one free at the regular price. And I'm moving over to tea and actually cutting back on coffee. So Shen still drinks coffee. Um, my mum's drinking coffee. She's with us here at the moment, but I'm trying to decrease the amount of coffee that I have. Um, and I really like the chai tea. So I'm going to be having chai tea in the morning for a couple of weeks and we'll see how that goes. Stocking up on stuff, brown cinnamon. Um, I use a boatload of this. This goes in our overnight oats pretty much every day. So I've actually grabbed two. They weren't on special, but the last one didn't seem to last very long. So I've now got two of those. And I have grabbed some more brown sugar because we're doing a lot of cinnamon and brown sugar at the moment. Um, it is getting colder and it's nice to have that in the morning. I've also grabbed some roasted seaweed. This is little snack pack things. I've seen some um, vegan bloggers doing some interesting things with seaweed. So I'm going to maybe try a few different things. They were for $3, so I grabbed a packet. I've looked a couple of times. I'm um, Denard, and today, I don't know, I went, I'm going to do it. Um, if not, what I'm going to do is just really finely dice it up, like chop it up, and put it in through like um, an Asian-inspired... Um, like salad with like coleslaw and stuff like that and we'll use it up that way if it uh, doesn't work the other way all right frozen stuff oh not winning in the frozen stuff department uh, i've grabbed two bags of the bird's eye stir fry the thai style one um we'll put those aside and just a packet of the old frozen mixed veg hey i don't know if you guys have noticed this before or if this is just new. I haven't bought this for a while, but um, how long has it had zucchini in it? Has it always, has the Woolworths one always had zucchini in it? Or is that new? Because I feel like that's new. Anyways, I'm sure one of you guys out there will know and <laughs> you'll let me know. And why you shouldn't go shopping when you're hungry. Uh, this is going to be a snack that we're going to do this afternoon. Just because we felt like having some chips and this was cheaper than going and buying hot chips I think maybe marginally I'm not really sure they sounded delicious uh, they're going to get cooked up this afternoon and then we won't speak about them again all right um another pack of muesli bars for you guys who follow along uh, you'll know that we like to keep a packet of muesli bars um, on hand usually keep them in the car for when we're out and about stops us popping into cafes and bakeries and buying stuff because we're snacky so we'll have a quick muesli bar and that'll keep us out of trouble i've grabbed the roast chicken blend the master food one because a long time ago i did tofu cut coated in this and charlotte really liked it she's been asking for it for ages and um she reminded me at the supermarket so we bought it and i will do that again and Shan wanted to try this. This is uh, chicken salt, but it's supposed to be less sodium than regular salt. Uh, Shan likes a bit of salt, and it's probably not the best thing in the world to be having heaps of it. So, I don't know. We're going to give this one a go. Um, it was on sale today, which is primarily why we're trying it, because we try things when they're on special. Stocking up on four tins of tomatoes, because you always use tomatoes. Shan likes saucy things, so this is his. Um, Perinase, not a huge fan of super spicy stuff. I don't know how hot that is, so and I'm probably not going to find out. <laughs> uh, some more green stuffed olives. I just like to have them to throw through a pasta. I'll throw them through a salad, but also we have them, or I have them, um, when we do like a, a platter. So like with uh, dips and veggie sticks and stuff, I'll put out some olives as well it's pretty much just me and my mum when she's around who eats them so uh yeah that's a nice little thing that i've actually got somebody to share those with who enjoys them as well two lots of ranch dressing because we do like our ranch and nothing else was on special so we've got the woolies brand we've got two of the spice taylor classic butter chickens because again 
uh, Shannon and Charlotte really like this one. So happy to sort of meet in the middle, particularly when it comes to these sorts of things. There's probably a little bit too much saturated fat in this one for me, uh, but I do stretch this sauce to make it go a long way. So it won't be too bad, um, but you've got to keep everybody happy. 10 litres of soy milk. Uh, we do still have some of the flavoured oat. At, no, what did I get? Almond milk. It's flavoured almond milk. So if you guys watched my last massive grocery haul video from where were we? Port Augusta. We managed to pick up some of that and I did say it was going to last for a while um, and we're still working through that. So that's awesome. Um, so we do have some almond milk and I'll grab some more soy and some stoppage because the mozzies are next level out here at the in the outback at the moment um, it's because of all the rain so that is the rest of our stock up from Woolies all right well that's it that's everything that we've bought in this top up shop type got to get us through until next month actually you know make that four weeks shop that we've just done i hope you enjoyed today's video having a look at the sorts of things that we pick up in different towns as we go seeing the prices change stay the same all of that sort of good stuff but also having a look at what we're carrying as we're traveling around in the caravan and the types of things that we're pulling together the meals that we're making so if you are interested in the meals that we pull together hang tight maybe even hit that little subscribe button there will be a what's for dinner video coming at you guys very shortly where i'll show you some of the meals that i pull together with all the bits and pieces that we have on hand but that's it from me today i've got a lot to do to put this stuff away i do hope you enjoyed today's video if you did if you could give it a big thumbs up i really do appreciate it it lets me know the kind of content you guys are enjoying and what you would like to see more of and again if you would like to see more of this sort of stuff and you haven't subscribed yet it would mean so much to me if you would actually consider hitting that little subscribe button it is the best way to stay up to date with everything that's happening at our place and it's a really easy way to support my channel well, I hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I can't wait to catch up with you guys in my next video. Until then, take care, my friends. Bye.